Hello, it's Megan, and you are now entering more intermediate and advanced levels of DFP in the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this particular lesson, we are going to show you how to roadblock. The objective of this lesson is to help you manage creatives in a well-balanced way through roadblocking. Roadblocking empowers you to block all the ad slots on a web page and to grant priority to all those slots to a particular advertiser. An advertiser may want to do this so that his creative wins an impression on a web page. He also wins control over the remaining ad slots and effectively blocks out other advertisers. This is set up from inside the line item settings. Are you ready to learn this new technique? Allow us to show you. Let's get started. Before jumping into road blocking, it's important to understand that a page takeover will not work properly if it's regimented to DFP. When it comes to roadblocks, we recommend using Asynchronous Rendering, or Async, with Single Request Mode enabled tags. Please note that we do not recommend Single Request Mode for any tags other than roadblocks, as doing so may cause reporting discrepancies. However, in terms of roadblocks, the combination of Async and Single Request Mode tags provides web audiences with the fastest page load experience possible. Page load time is particularly important when it comes to guaranteed roadblocks. After all, what makes roadblocks attractive to the advertiser is for the user to see several of their ads per page, like a page sponsorship. Your advertiser will certainly want their creatives to be displayed all at once, hence the term roadblock. You can achieve this by enabling guaranteed roadblocks in the Features section of the Admin tab. The Admin tab is precisely where we begin. From the Admin tab in your DFP account, navigate to the Features tab on the left-hand side of the page under the Network Settings heading. You can enable this roadblock parameter by selecting the All Turn On switch under Roadblocks. Now that we've set up guaranteed roadblocks using the Single Request mode under Features, we can begin to set up a line item and assign our Master and Companion roadblock creatives. Navigate to an order within your DFP account and create a new line item. From the line item, select the sizes you would like to run for your page takeover. You will want to select the size for each ad slot on the given page. As you will be implementing Google Publisher tags in single request mode, all of the creatives for a particular web page will be requested at once. Consequently, you can assign groups of creatives within the line item to be served together. While you can upload more than one set of creatives for each group of sizes, your master creative will be delivered first, with the corresponding companion sizes delivered second. Before proceeding forward, it would be helpful to take a short pause here and go into a bit more detail about how master and companion roadblock creatives work together and the several creative options publishers can choose from when scheduling a roadblock line item. To reiterate, a roadblock consists of several ad slots on a web page. Within a single line item, you can create sets of creatives that serve simultaneously as a roadblock. These creative sets consist of a master creative and one or more companion creatives. Within the line item, you can specify whether to A require all of the creatives in the set to serve simultaneously, b require that the master must always serve alongside at least one companion, or c allow as many companion creatives to serve as assigned to the line item whenever the master creative is served. It is important to mention here that a companion ad will never serve without a master creative being served first. You also have an option to serve only a master creative without a corresponding companion creative. In most cases, you will also upload companion creatives, and when you do so, DFP will prioritize companion creatives over creatives from other sets not associated as a companion to the master creative. On a side note, when it comes to booking the number of impressions on a page takeover, keep in mind that each roadblock is considered a single impression, regardless of how many creatives are served. Simply book for the number of times that you want the master creative to serve. No need to book extra impressions for companion creatives. After choosing your master companion creative options within the line item, 
Click Save and proceed to upload the creative set. As we have selected All for our roadblock parameter, we must upload creatives for any size identified in the Sizes field. For example, if the master roadblock creative is 728 by 90 and the companion sizes are 300 by 250 and 468 by 60, then you can upload just the 728 by 90 master creative. In this scenario, the creative set will still be delivered because you have assigned a master creative, the 728 by 90 size, and at least one companion creative, the 468 by 60 size. Upload your chosen master and companion as applicable creatives and save. If you would like to assign additional creatives or upload new creatives, you can do so now. As a DFP publisher, at some point you will certainly come across an advertiser who requests a one-page takeover on your website. We hope that this lesson provided you with a clear overview of how to create and assign Master Companion Roblox creatives in a line item to simultaneously serve on a single web page of your website. Thanks for watching our video today. To watch more video tutorials, visit the Learn to Monetize More portal or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.